everybody, today we're going to be discussing the new Shadowhunters TV casting. I don't know, whew, yikes. It's really hot in my room right now because the air conditioning is not working, it's very humid outside, so even when I open the window, there's no relief. I might get some cookie dough ice cream then. I'll be right back, I'm gonna get cookie dough. I like this way of cooling down. I just dropped them on the floor. Colin, eat it. Eat the ice cream. Okay, so recently we got cast four new members for the Shadowhunters TV show. Luke, Valentine, Magnus, and Alec. Oh, Malik. They all bay. And honestly, I am so excited for the casting, especially Valentine. He is being played by the most perfect actor to play Valentine, for me at least, in the world. He is being played by Alan Van Spring. If you do not know who Alan is, he was in Rain. He played the king in Rain. If you remember, he kind of went mad. He was a mad king and he was a bad king he was actually like the villain in the storyline from when he was in the show and he gave me shivers he was just so awesomely well done and most perfect manner to be a mad king and I'm like oh my gosh they could have picked a better Valentine for the Shadowhunters TV show what do you want you want more ice cream don't you boo you want some more ice cream also, all of you guys that are complaining that he's not hot enough, first of all, Valentine is a villain and the father of Clary. He's not supposed to be hot. And second of all, those of you complaining that he does not have hair or not enough of it for it to be white, if he had more hair, they would probably put braids in it like they did the last Valentine. And that was very weird. So stop complaining. Next, we got Luke, the leader of the werewolf pack, as well as the kind of sort of father of Clary. Not biological, but he is a father figure. Anyways, he is played by Isaac. Isaiah Mufafsa. Isaiah, I've never seen him act before, but his voice makes me very happy. For warm wishes on social media. I'm really looking forward to joining this amazing team and playing Luke Garraway on Shadowhunters on the ABC family. He has a very deep and just luring voice, kind of just like Morgan Freeman's voice, but younger. I like it. The one thing I am quite worried about is not actually the actors playing Luke. I'm actually really happy they're bringing some diversity to the cast. But the thing I'm worried about is how they describe Luke Garraway's character for the TV show. He's supposed to be a detective, as well as the pack leader for the werewolves, which he is. But a detective? No, he's a bookshop keeper. Don't change that. That's one of my favorite parts about his character. But... I just really don't want to become like a cop drum. <laughs> like, oh, gotta go see what's going on in Downworlder World by going through the police station and finding out what's going on there. Like, I really just don't want it to be like that. I kind of liked him as a bookshop keeper, but you know, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. No judgments until I actually see the show. Colin, are you scared of the wind? Next we have Malik, which I've been really excited for them to be cast because Malik is bae. They're bae, boo-boo. Love me. My dogs love me, I swear. Okay, so first with Alec, these I'm very, very excited about who they casted for him because I like his face. And he also has a sister who was in a very popular book to movie adaptation known as Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. That kind of flop, but she was in it. And that is Matthew Daddario. Matthew is just so accurate to how Alec was in the books and I look at his face I'm like, yes! 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 <laughs> So I am so thrilled to see him play Alec. I hope he brings a sass master to Alec's character. You know, I like Kevin Zegers as Alec, but he was a little bit too old. I hate saying that, but he kind of was. And I think that Matthew will really bring that youth, but then again, wisdom to the character. So I'm excited. And then lastly, we get to the character that was one of my most highly anticipated characters to be cast for the TV show, and that is Magnus Bane, the High Warlock of Brooklyn. Red fingers, full of glitter, for Magnus. And Magnus is Harry Shum Jr., which I'm super excited about because he was in Glee. So I think that he can really bring that like flamboyantness to the character of Magnus. And I'm really happy that he's actually been an actor before because no offense to Godfrey Gao, he was very attractive. But he could not act at all. I'm sorry, but he couldn't. They actually had to dub over his voice because it was just that hard to understand. I don't know, but they had to dub over his voice and I thought that sounded really weird. But I'm super excited to see Harry play Magnus. I think he could do lots of great things to the character and really portray him to the best of his ability and he is attractive so I'm happy. He could definitely portray a great Magnus and I'm really excited to see him play him. As we know they actually aged up the characters for the TV show so Simon he is an accounting student, Luke is a detective and Clary is an art student so this is gonna be very interesting. I really hope they don't mess it up though for the Shadowhunters TV show because I really like how the books go. I do not mind at all them aging up the characters. I think that's a great idea actually because then it gives them more liberty to do more 
more like sexy fun times if they decide to do that I'm like I'm okay with that but I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna turn out like Pretty Little Liars no offense to all you fans out there for Pretty Little Liars but I can't handle that show anymore I'm sorry sorry I don't judge me don't be like hating on me in the comments because I don't like that show but I hear it's very different from the books and people actually didn't like piece of that so I really hope it's not something like that I hope that they take their own like identity in the show and kind of make it a really badass awesome show I think that ABC makes great shows ABC family eh, yeah I think so some of the shows are good um, but I really hope that they kind of have an age of shield vibe to it like you know what badass that show is yeah I hope they kind of have that badassery in the shot hunters TV show please so all in all I love the castings I love the whole entire cast I think they are are going to do so much justice to the TV show, the books, the characters, and I really hope they bring the world to life in such a magnificent way. Remember, the Shadowhunters TV show will be premiering January 2016, so very soon, and they're filming right now. They're actually in Toronto, and they're doing some training stuff, so yeah, stay tuned to my Shadowhunters Instagram, which is at the Shadowhunters, if you want to know any more news about the Shadowhunters casting, if there is any more to cast. There are still a few people to cast, but they got the main group down of people that are very important, and they still need, like, like Jocelyn and other characters that I'm forgetting right now but yeah not sure if I'll be doing a video on like Jocelyn and the kind of minor characters but I might I don't know yet let's see so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye, -bye.